G'day guys and welcome to episode 7 of my FIFA 12 manager mode commentary. I am sorry for the delay in uh, in the episode, it's been a while since I've done episode 6. Nonetheless, here we are today doing episode 7. And uh, as you can see, we've got a very big month ahead of us. Uh, we've, we, I mean, to be honest, we've got a lot of games, but the games aren't too hard. To be honest. I mean, there is Arsenal, but apart from that, it's a pretty easy going month. It shouldn't be too hard, but uh, just because I want to get a video out, I'm only going to be showing uh, about two, maybe two games in this episode. So anyway, the first um, game for this episode is against Stoke. I decided to play quite a full strength squad just because uh, I figured, you know, it is always good getting an easy three points uh, from a team. As you can see, they actually have uh, Osman, the guy I sold. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of an interesting thing to, to see, you know, how he plays for them. Uh, but anyway, nonetheless, we do start very well as usual. I mean, we always seem to start well. Um, a good shot from uh, Essien and then Jelovic nearly follows up. And then uh, Rodwell does get a nice little touch, but then, uh, then it is called offside. Uh, nonetheless, we do push on here and get a very lucky little deflection. And Jelovic, um, as usual, will just finish that all day. Very nice little finish there and just kind of kicks McFadden on, on while he's in his celebration. But still, that is a nice finish. Quite a clinical finish from uh, Jelovic. Still quite a good shot. Then uh, McFadden gets a really nice little uh, kind of through ball to him. And McFadden, as well as Jelovic, doing quite a nice little finish in the bottom corner. And uh, that's actually the first goal from McFadden. He's been uh, not too great for us, to be honest, at this point. But um, that was quite a nice goal. Very well taken in the bottom corner. Keeper really had no chance whatsoever. Uh, and as you can see, it's only the 17th minute. We're still pushing on. Just, you know, a lot of opportunities coming our way. And they aren't really doing anything at all. Uh, Stoke. But as you can see, uh, we could have probably made it 3-0 there. But uh, Jelovic kind of messing up the shot. It wasn't very good. It just went straight to their keeper. Uh, Stoke did get a chance of their own. That was really one of their only uh, chances. And it really went a fair bit wide. But anyway, the half, half ends at a pretty comfortable 2-0. Going into the dressing rooms, we are pretty confident. Because as I said, you know, this, this isn't the best Stoke squad. Uh, we do get another bit of a lucky... Uh, Tackle a bit of some average defense there, and Yelovich takes that very nicely. Just kind of, you know, volleys that. Uh, we did get a little bit lucky, and he kind of spazzed out in the goals there. Uh, but he does take that very nicely. As in team McFadden, a great ball. That's an assist and a goal for McFadden so far. So he's playing very well this game. But uh, yeah, we did get a little bit lucky there with the defender kind of just bouncing off him. But still, nonetheless, I decided to make three changes. I took Yelovich, McFadden, and Drentha off, and just took three new players on just for some match fitness. And I wanted to give some other guys some uh, some kind of match. It's just some, you know, experience. And then Strakwelusi, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, as soon as he gets brought on, that is a beautiful finish. I wasn't expecting him to score that, but he does a great job in finishing that. It is the 90th minute, and Stoke do manage to pull back a very good ball there. And then they get a nice little, pretty nice little goal, actually, from Stoke. Uh, but it's a really only a consolation goal because obviously it's only 4-1 now the deficit is still three goals and they're not hitting back now so anyway the half do uh, sorry the game does end at 4-1 that is a very nice result for us um as you can see it's nice to see that you know that new uh, striker of ours i'm just going to call him s because i don't know what his name is uh got it got on the on the scoreboard because i'm happy with that as you can see pina is back from his injury as of yet, I'm not sure if I'm going to start him because you can see his energy level is extremely low at this point. But I think I will put him on the bench against Arsenal just because Arsenal is such a huge opponent and we need to, you know, get as many points from this game as we can. But anyway, as you can see, Chesney is injured, their, their keeper, and so is Murdersacker, and so is one of their defenders. Uh, sorry, he's red carded. So uh, it's definitely going to be an, an easier result than I was hoping. But nonetheless, they've had a good run of form, even though they did lose to Norwich. Uh, actually, they drew to Norwich the other day, which is pretty uh, ironic. But nonetheless, um, you know, they got a pretty good team there. It's going to be a pretty tough game, but I decided to uh, start basically a normal lineup. I didn't start Pienaar just because, you know, I, I wanted to make sure that he's uh, fit for the next few games. Anyway, guys, we do start very well. Rodwell playing quite a great ball to Jelovic, who steps their keeper, and look at that finish. That is a beautiful finish, and their, unex their inexperienced keeper has no chance whatsoever, and he just kind of kicks the ball uh, when he scores that goal. That's a great goal from Jelovic. I mean, he's just been scoring on, on like two goals a day basis, which is, oh, sorry, two goals a, a game basis, which is just insane. Nonetheless, Arsenal do get a chance of their own here from Arteta, who doesn't really do a good finish at all. It wasn't very convincing, to be honest. As you can see, then Jelovic in the 33rd minute gets a very lucky uh, set of deflections. It was also pretty, uh, you know, he used his strength pretty well there just to kind of barrack through their whole defensive line. Pass it off to McFadden, and he scores a pretty easy goal. I probably could have scored that in real life. And uh, then they do hit back in the 40th minute. Quite a scrappy goal, i got to be honest here, with Arshavin. Just kind of easy finish there. A bit of a lucky deflection. But in the 45th minute, Michael Essien turning the defense and finessing it into the top corner. That is a very, very nice goal. Uh, the keeper had absolutely no chance. He kind of just dipped down in just a beautiful goal. Look at this. He just 
first steps their defense and then just kind of it just it's very slowly kind of finessed itself way fine, <laughs> finessed its way into the goal so that's a very very nice goal from Michael Essien anyway uh, the half does end at 3-1 which is pretty pleasing for us because you know I didn't expect to be up this much against a you know strong team like Arsenal but in the 54 uh, sorry the 51st minute uh Oh, that is a lame goal. Jovino just kind of gets a... It was a pretty awful defense, i got to be honest. And it was a pretty decent finish. But I was just annoyed to give that away. Such, you know, such a pathetic defense for me. Um, at this point, you know, I'm getting a little bit frustrated with myself. And I did give away a penalty. Personally, I didn't think it was a penalty at the time. But looking back on it, I did see that you didn't really get much ball there. It was quite scrappy defense. Once again, I always do that, you know, just mess up in my defensive line. And obviously, it's Robin Van Persie. He's not going to miss that. I don't know what Howard's doing there. He kind of just he just stopped. He just didn't even dive. He just kind of moved. But unfortunately, it is 3-3 at this point. And uh, I decided to make a few subs here just to kind of maybe I can turn something around. I took Essien off, which I kind of regret. I took Gibson and Coleman on once again just for some match fitness. They do get a very late chance to uh, kind of seal the game for them in the 81st minute. I honestly don't know how that didn't go in. If you look here, that is actually probably a goal. I mean, I just... I don't know, really. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy enough for that not to be a goal. As you can see, I fail at free kicks. We did get a free kick. I really fail at taking them, so it wasn't really uh, too convincing at all. And anyway, the game does end at 3-3. A little bit disappointing in the end, seeing as we did go into the second half at 3-1, but still very happy, happy enough to get at least a point from a, a strong side like Arsenal. And we definitely did get goal of the match that game with Essie in there. Just a beautiful finish. But nonetheless, as you can see, to end this episode, we are on the seventh spot. Um, only two points off Chelsea. So we are doing pretty well right now. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode. I am sorry that it's a little bit shorter. But still, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys later.